Hello YouTube, Blue Matoni here, and welcome to episode 17 of this Let's Play Rome Total War as Germania. So, where we left off last time was, well, we're at war. I mean, that's, that's pretty much what's going on. It seems like that's all that's going on with this campaign. We're just constantly at war. Um, let's take my ships here. I think this fleet, one of these Julii fleets has a pretty good uh, army on it. Is it this one? Yeah, it's that one. Okay, so... Let's see. Oh my god, seriously? Ugh, okay, I would love to be able to just sink this army. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna figure that out. Um, let's recruit one more. Oh, I can't do a large boats. Oh, I don't have the money. Okay. Right, I forgot I did my, okay, I did my whole turn last turn pretty much already. I did buildings. I did uh, a couple smaller fights. Um, yeah, see, going after Thrace is going to be a bit tough. And the main reason for that is they're pretty strong and have a lot of uh, area. You know, like, this whole front here is all Thrace. Maybe not here, but I suspect they've taken that city. So that's just something to keep in mind, although it would be awesome to extend down into here. So, we're, and then, you know, if we could end up in this area, that'd be so cool. Um, but I don't have the troops over here yet. I, I just, they don't, I, they're not here. Like, I haven't trained them up. They're not ready. Um, I'm trying to train them up, but I don't really have, you know, the, the finan finances to do that. Um, I'm a pretty poor faction. These guys are... Yeah. Like, I'm trying to move some troops over, but like, unfortunately, just. I don't have the money to just, like, train up an army. So, I kind of have to be a bit smarter with it. You know what? Screw you, Axeman. I have to be a little bit uh, on the smarter side with this one. Like, and, you know, prioritize troops and stuff. So, anyway, let's focus here on Italy. Some Definitely, you know, these are large armies. It's pretty much all Hastati, but, like, still a pretty large force. Um, here, I mean, this is a capable force, but I'm not going to start going up against, you know, major Roman armies with, with this force. Yeah, I would love to just wipe out Gaul. Just, like, one less faction to have to worry about. Um... They might still have this province. I, I, I'm not 100% sure about that. And I know they have this one. But, you know, I think I'm pretty pretty good with this turn. Okay. Let's send it. Okay, Gaul's forces are consolidating near Patavium, it looks like. And then they're moving away again. All right, Julia are laying siege. Whoa, where's this? Oh, they attacked me. They went at me. Okay, cool. I'm more than happy to be the defender. When I'm the defender in a battle with my uh, phalanxes, that's a huge advantage for me. So, no problem at all. This is a in this place. All right. Pretty cool battle map here, as you can see. It's the canyon with the mountains on either side, just like in the map, like on the campaign map. So let's go ahead and, and just set up down here in this flatland area. Um, get a nice, uh, a nice infantry wall here of phalanx pikemen. Five units of archers behind them, and then. We'll just dole out the cavalry once the battle starts here. So I'm going to take the three experienced units of cavalry and my general and guard the right flank. And then my three most inexperienced units of cavalry. And they'll be in charge of guarding the left flank here. No, you know what I could do? That would be pretty cool. Let's see if I have the time to do this. Let's get everyone in position. 
Okay, and now we're going to group them up. Can I move up here? Yeah, let's move up on the hill. Make them come up to me. Plus, my archers will get a lot of extended range. So we're going to rush everyone up here. My units are going to tire a lot running up the hill here, I think. Eh, yeah, see, they're already winded. They might, they might get all the way to tired by the time they get to the top. Yeah, they're tired. But now they're going to just be hanging, and they'll recoup that. See, my archers are already firing. Their range is massive from up here. So my archers are, t are literally hitting their forces from this far away, which is freaking awesome. I'm going to do this. I'm going to extend out the infantry line ever so slightly. To about here. I mean, this is just awesome. Like, they're still basically at the bottom of the hill, just starting to climb, and my archers are just peppering them. I thought I could do some significant damage to the general's bodyguard. Let's see when the first volley comes in here. Yeah, we're knocking a few of them out. Oh, yeah. And we're going to put them back on fire at will. Okay. So I thought they were going to charge me. Alright, they are. We're going to see, and now we have the cavalry advantage of charging downhill. Which is very nice as well. And we're, yeah, we're wrecking havoc over here with those guys. And on the other side, go after them. Take out the slingers here. Yeah, I'm just going to be running my cavalry around down here. I can go after the skirmishers. Yeah, see, these guys, it's such an advantage with the uh, with the added height. Yeah, go after the town militia, actually. Oh, I kind of let these guys walk around me here. Didn't really notice them. Yeah, just go ahead and help out that phalanx. And then these guys, let's go after them. These guys take them out. And we can have this unit uh, take them out. Archers, let's tell you to stop firing here. And then this unit, these four units of cavalry, go there with one of them coming here. Cool. Yeah, wow. Easy battle. Now it's just about wiping out as many of these guys as I can. You go here, these guys take them, general take them, these guys take them, go there, see if you can chase those guys down, even though you probably can't, just let the rest of these forces just be wiped off the battlefield. Nice. Huge differential in kill. I, see, I'm shocked that they attacked me there in the pass. It's 
Thrace. Okay, we get another uh, defense here. Thrace sieging the city. So I'm going to have to defend the walls heavily here because they outnumber me. So hopefully not too, too bad. I just need my phalanxes to hold. I would love to not lose the city. Like, really love to not lose the city. Um, good thing is they only have two uh, rams. So we'll easily assume one of them's coming here to the front gate. And then it looks like the other one's going to be moving here. So I can have... But this is nice because it'll give me a unit of uh, shock troop. Two units of shock troops, basically. But one unit of phalanx unit shock troop that I can keep, like you know, positions here or something. And then these guys, let's put here, and they can assist, like, either uh, either gate. Like, if they pop in, they can run left or right, and that should be pretty uh, beneficial. So we'll move up, let everyone move into position. Do they have any ranged units? So they have some peltists, as long as they don't have archers. Yeah, peltists, I mean, those are small units of peltists. They'll be okay. And then small unit of militia cav. All right, everyone's in position. Nothing to do now, but wait for the uh, melee combat to begin. Any second now. I think these towers, yeah, they're firing in. That's nice. They're doing some damage over here. You can see a couple bodies of the militia hoplites. Uh, what's the wall at? 76%. 92. 96. Next one should knock it down. There we go. Okay. Okay. All right, they're uh, they're advancing in. Let's hold, guys. Come on. This Foxman unit, I gotta hold against them. These are good, good infantry. All right, looks like so far doing all right. These guys are popping through a little bit. Uh, this side. Popping through a little bit too, but uh, so far they're holding. Taking some losses, but they're holding. Alright, let's go. I'm going to move these guys in over here. Because I want to just try to repel. Oh, just They couldn't just go on the side. If I can repel, repel one side, I can then for focus all my forces on the other group. So I'm just going to hope these, this guy can hold. It looks like they got the Falksman done, so the... I don't think the mercenaries here are going to be able to do too, too much. Um, Alright. Yeah, we're going to move these guys back. I think they're holding pretty good there. It's going to be phalanx against phalanx here, though. Yeah, let's go in and help with the hoplites. You can see the hoplites starting to move through here too, but it's been a good start so far. Yeah, this unit's almost done. All right, let's get these guys in perfect position here to back them up. Yeah, 22 guys left. They're fighting. Okay, there they go, they routed. That was expected. need the second wall to hold here. Same thing looks like it's happening over here. The phalanx unit is make, makes good progress when it when it comes through. Their phalanx militia hoplites seem to be better. Everyone's routing with this one unit. Move, move. 
All right, we're going to retreat them to the city center. Come on, hurry. Go, 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 go. Jesus. Oh, my God. Why are they so damn slow? Oh, my God. They're so slow. I told them to turn it. It takes them, like, forever to turn around. They were at, like, 112 guys when I told them to turn to the city center. you got to be kidding me. Oh, I hate, I hate when I feel like things out of my control are what cost me in a battle. It really pisses me off. Like, I, I think I should have won that battle. Maybe not won it, but like those guys, I should have ran back to the city center with a hundred guys and set up one last wall of defense. Instead, they're just like, not, they're refusing to move. It's ridiculous. All right, enough. Shake it off. Got to go take it, take it back. Um, this is my watchtower, right? Come on. Yeah, okay, we're going to move these guys back up north. Gosh, dang it, it's so frustrating. Night Raiders, I'm thinking it. Two turns to recruit, though. We'll, we'll do it. Where do you want Chosen Axemen? Oh, I like the Night Raiders. They're cooler. Definitely cooler. I don't know if I can take this force out. Another kind of just like really frustrating little thing. These rebels units pop up and then I have to like deal with them and I don't have troops to deal with them. Okay. Um, what do I want to do about these guys? I think with another unit of infantry here. I'll be able to take him down. So that's what we're going to do. Alright, so Spain, I got a pretty dominant victory. Um, let's do another big one. This time I'll be the attacker. Today is a good day to die. Ooh, I love this army. It's my best army. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no, no. <laughs> Don't know what I hit there. Alright, they're playing it smart. I don't want to end up on the downhill. I think what I'm going to do is kind of just tell like everyone to get up here. And quickly. Like, I think I can take out this force with just my, with my cavalry. No matter, we will count the dead later. So I'm just going to run everyone up. And try to take out this force with my cavalry and get the rest of my troops up here on the high ground. That's the goal. Let's see how it works out. These guys can go into there. These guys can go into there. Wait, what? Why did two units not come? God, you gotta be kidding me. All right, and then I want my archers up on the hill, like there. And we're gonna tell all these guys to run. Okay. The cavalry's coming in. Would be really nice to just take these guys out and then set up position up here on the hill. All right, nice first blow. Now go after the round shield. Okay, that was easy. So we're going to go ahead and just set up my cavalry flanks. 
like that. And now we're just going to fast forward until everyone's into a uh, position here. Alright, my archers are firing. Looks like I'm taking damage, so do they have archers? Maybe? I don't know. These guys are, are, they, are they rushing me? Aim at the round shield cav here. So we do some nice damage to them. They're at, yeah, picking some of the cav cavalry off. And are they routing off the field? Is that what's going on? Let's start moving my cavalry forward if that's the case. Yeah, all right, looks like they're routing. They didn't want to didn't do the fight. I had a pretty good position there. I'm going to let the arrows uh, finish firing here. All right, let's go. Ooh, uh, I didn't realize the line, end of the map was there. Hopefully I catch him. Yeah, there they go. Got 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 some of them. Got a lot of them. Nice. One unit left. There we go. All right. So I didn't lose really anyone. Their main army lost about uh, 150 guys, maybe. Nothing. Maybe. 200, nothing too crazy, but uh, still a manpower um, victory for me, that's for sure. This general got better. That's nice. And I guess let's keep expanding here. We're going to go after this force first before going after the city. And that's just to, you know, eliminate the troops, take them out, and then, uh, then we can go after the bulk after that. Yeah, the bulk of their troops are in the city now, so don't want to have anyone being able to reinforce them. Yeah, why, why, does it, why don't they just like move forward straight? Alright. Ooh. Oh yeah, take him out. Having the range advantage is so nice. I basically already eliminated a unit. I mean, if they don't want to rush me, I'm going to use as much of the range advantage as I can here, because they only have Pelthus. So let's, let's finish off this unit of Iberians. One man left. Done. All right now, go after the naked fanatics. Naked fanatics have very low defense, so they should just yeah. You can see they're dropping really quick. And uh, any second now, they should be done. There we go. Let's go after the next unit. Looks like they're finally starting to move. I think they just have peltus left, pretty much. All right. I mean, I'm more than happy to just sit back and let my archers pick them off. You know, it'll get my archers XP. So, it's good with me. They can't retreat. So, they're just going to stand there until they're all dead. Look at that. Look at the numbers just slowly dwindling. It's like they step up. They're like, okay, I'm next to, to be sniped. Come on, don't let these guys get away. Oh yeah, not a chance. This is 
All right. I lost zero men. <laughs> nice. Nice, nice. Very happy about that one. And we can still lay siege to the city in that same turn. So that was uh, pretty nice, if I don't say so myself. Pretty nice moves. All right. Lamonum's uh, upset. Dropped their tax rate one. Now, these troops here, what do I want to do with these guys? Because I'm looking, you know, at the map. I might need these guys in Spain. Might not. Might need them in Italy. I probably do. Yeah. I think the right call is going to be taking them and... Uh, Starting to move them towards Italy, so let's let's see how many of these guys I can move out. So we'll start here with uh, the general and the cavalry. Okay, three more infantry. It's down to a uh, hundred percent. One more of the infantry. Eighty-five percent. Yeah, and that's that's where we're gonna have to stop. But we're gonna start moving these guys over. We need men in Italy. Uh, that is for sure. Um, How's my defensive force looking here? No archers, which is a real bummer. Um, but I think I'll be able to defend the gates pretty well. Okay. Let's do buildings really quickly. You know what? Let me go back to... I saw... Uh, oh, they're about to expand, and then I'll up the tax rate. Okay. Nothing yet. Tara, not necessary. Really not necessary to spend the money on a military building there. So I won't do it yet. Same thing with Lamonum. Yeah, I mean, it's unfortunate, but kind of just across the board. I, I got to prioritize where I build buildings. Once I start making my money pretty well, then, you know, I'll, I'll start building buildings in other towns. But I'd rather save up the money right now. Um, Trier, this on the other hand, this Sacred Grove, why not? Suggesta, can't do anything, it's under siege. Mediolanium, finish retraining your troops, and recruit me another archer's unit. Okay. Alright, what do we want to do over here? Yeah, we're going to move these guys north. Recruit another unit there. Can't recruit one there, right? Okay. And, uh... Can't recruit one here for population reasons as well. Um... It's unfortunate. Alright, so at least we have a spy in that city now. I don't think there's too much else I want to do this turn. Army-wise, um, let's check out the fleets. The, the Romans dropped off. Yeah, they, see, they dropped off their army back here on the mainland. Um, can I train the fleet here? Yeah, let's get another large boats. And move these guys here where I can give them a better defense stat. Okay. What is Canaro Martius? Would love to just have like, like at least one fleet that can you know hold its own in the Mediterranean. That that would be pretty important, I think. Um, okay. I don't think the Julii can attack me yet. I don't think they have the siege equipment. Yeah. Whew. Okay, gained a bit of money. There's the dance faction. Okay. Nice. Construction. Let's just go ahead and, and do this now. It's easier to do it this way. Uh, Narbo Martius. I think... Uh, do that. Alessia, Great Market. Cool. Dinium, same thing. And Stockade's done here. Uh... I mean, let's just give them the meeting hall, sure. 
Okay. Some recruitment. Diplomatic info. Let's do the siege. I could really use another city just for the financial purposes. It's like I'm kind of being forced to try to rapidly expand because I, I need the money, but then like I'm in all these wars. Um, all right, we are gonna most definitely use the archers to my advantage here as much as I can. Um, Yeah, that's going to be key to this fight. Yeah, we got to have my archers do as much damage as possible in the city. Well, that's a nice start. Take out some of the cav. General's bodyguard at that. Alright. And we will advance. Ooh, I would love to take out as many of these warhounds as possible here. Let's see if I can get a good volley in on them. Come on, get one volley on the Warhounds. I should be able to move them closer to the, before the towers, uh, before I get in range of the towers. Let's move them a little bit closer. Yeah, see, there's a round shield cavalry over here, which should be in my range now. Yeah, you can see I'm firing at them. That's what I, I was hoping for. Take out some of the cav. Even the, you know, the few horses I'm taking out just helps. Um, should get a volley in on these guys here. Yeah, there come the arrows. You can see the damage that they've been doing here. Very, very nice. And let's move them here into a gap now, where there doesn't seem to be a tower that will be able to hit them. And they'll have some extent added range that they'll, you know, capabilities. Move them into a weak spot with the towers. And yeah, now now these guys back here, they can they can start firing it on. Yeah, you can see the arrows all coming in. So the ones really close to the wall are out of range, but all these guys back here should be right in the firing uh, chamber, like right in the wheelhouse. Yeah, you can see the, the damage that these are doing. Are they firing through the gate? Oh yeah, they kind of are. A little over the gate, right, kind of right through it. Ooh, let them keep firing here. All right, got another one down. Oh, look at that. Right through the gap. Oh, just pick him off. Nice. Most of that unit's done. Oh, the whole unit. Nice. Alright, let's get them close. Let's just get them right here, and that way they can fire deep into this region of the map. Alright, so we're going to set up the first guys here 
guard that flank. I want everyone, these guys, and these guys, basically just sprinting into here. Come on, whoa, whoa, whoa. what is, I can't, come on. There we go. Yeah, then we're gonna get these guys like, like that. This, might, this is kind of risky with the cavalry right there though. Hopefully I can form up before they charge, that'd be uh, ideal. Oh, they're running away. And these guys, phalanx also. Alright. Oh, they're, they're routed before they even make contact with my guys. So yeah, these guys are just going to guard the flanks. Two units here. Are these guys seriously not in phalanx formation yet? Put your spears down. There we go. Sort of. Not really. Kind of, like kind of got them down in time. I, I don't really know. I, I just I don't understand how it takes them so long to form phalanx. One thing I'd fix about this game, it's it's that. Yeah, phalanx units can be very frustrating sometimes. But these guys are still just firing into the crowds. As you can see. War dogs coming in, and you know, the spears aren't ready yet. Whew. There we go. Just blatantly not where I told them to go. Oh, I moved to those guys too, didn't I? That's ah, okay. Well, I'm getting the position here. You see, I want, I mean, I want them to charge their cavalry right into my spears. That's fine with me. That's what they think a good defense of the city is. I'm not complaining. Move my archers out of there. Oh. Just kind of chill here for a minute. They keep, like, moving forward and then routing. <laughs> All right. Advance forward. At least they're advancing like in phalanx formation for once. Yeah, most of these guys in here are pretty vulnerable to cavalry, so I'll utilize my cavalry in this fight. Usually in these city fights, like I don't really use my cavalry that much and that's uh for the reason of you know like warband and stuff but this one they uh you know these guys are okay my cavalry's gonna be stupid of course because some of it knows to run this way and some of it decides to like hey i'm gonna run right in the center of the city now let's get over there can you guys just run straight there please um, they're clearly supposed to be running. Alright. Oh, alright, hello there, cavalry, being stupid. Alright, this 
should be pretty sh uh, smooth sailing from here on out. Just gotta, yeah, just kind of gotta round them up now. I mean, they basically have a choice. It's either run into phalanx walls or run into a horde of cavalry, and neither units are particularly adept at fighting cavalry, so... Yeah, tough spot for them. Just, just charge in. I was about to say, I was like, they didn't look like all my cavalry. There comes the rest. Cavalry swarm is working. And we'll let this one run out. There goes their general. Nice. All right, only lost 100 guys. Pretty good. I mean, well, really good. <laughs> um, sweet. All right, we got a province in Spain. Ooh. See if I can occupy it. Yeah, get the High King's Hall. That's that's key. Repair. Retrain. Alright, we'll be able to hold on to that city for a little bit. Move that unit here. Keep this unit going towards Italy. That army, I should say. Uh, these guys can like just follow them over that way. Yeah. All right. Well, very interesting here. Uh, God, this is going to be a tough one. Not too thrilled about this fight, but we'll see what ends up happening there. So. I want to thank everyone for watching. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please like, favorite, comment, and subscribe as always. And yeah, I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode. Thanks for watching.